So guys, the family of a 15 year old who was gone down Friday night are still in shock and in mourning as Nevada, Maitland, otherwise called Teflon, was on 4th Street in Trench Down shortly after 10 when a lone gunman just walked up to him and opened fire, eating him in the head. So guys, you know, he pronounced dead while on his way to hospital. Now the family and, you know, the residents are still tense as to what really take place and what caused, you know, their little 15 year old Nevada to just go like that. And also guys, as there is a update on the Canada work program, I wanted to check out as Jazeel, you know, let his voice be heard. There's a woman that her husband was on this farm program and so some accident while he was on work came claim his life and this woman cries out she need her husband body to be buried so guys i wanted to check out as jazil you know let his voice to be heard in this case and the canada program check it out guys when i saw the article with uh her name is mrs garvin mrs garvin and how she's crying out for her husband body she's crying out for her husband body canadians canadian government the authorities right she's crying out for her husband body for her husband body hmm? For her husband body, you know, friends. The article said in the stars. According to the article, the, rather the Jamaica Observer. Right? She said that, uh, and it, she's from Tangle River, St. James. It says, frustrated. Frustrated that she has heard nothing since she signed follow me signed a paper authorizing an autopsy on her farm worker husband marcia yap is pleading for answers her husband of 15 years garvin yap died on a Canadian farm on August 14th in what has been described as a job related accident. An investigation was launched into his death. She says, right now I don't know if they have done the autopsy on my husband from I signed the paper. Nobody has reached out to me to say yes the autopsy is done she further says they were there pushing and prodding wanting me to sign this thing right the distraught woman told the jamaica observer so this is uh mrs garvin here expressing herself has been married for 15 years over 15 years now this article says her husband of 15 years garvin yap and when he died on the farm work you know on job related matter accident they they were pushing Pushing, you know, to get the woman for sign document for autopsy. And I'll know they have not seen it fit to reach out back to the poor lady so that what? She can get information on her husband. And right now she come out to cry and to plead. To cry and to plead. To cry and to plead. To cry and to plead so that at least she can get her husband's body to bury him. 
And brothers and sisters, we can't remain silent on these matters. A lot of things clearly has been happening in Canada to our people. And I'm saying that as kingdom warriors, as godly people, we will stand against any injustices against our people and we are calling on the Canadian government we're listen I don't know if it's Justin Trudeau that is in office currently I don't know but we are calling on the Canadian government we are calling on the authorities more than anything else brothers and sisters we are calling on the God Almighty we are calling on the Lord Jesus Christ to take up this case and to fight on the behalf of his daughter and of his children because we will not sit back brothers and sisters and allow injustice that allow our people to continue to face these atrocities we are calling on the government of Canada we are calling on the government of Canada and we will not be quiet about it we will not be quiet about it we come out today to make noises on this matter brothers and sisters as children of God we believe that when we come together to send a message then the message will be heard because we come together brothers and sisters to stand against the plans of the enemy the devil is a liar and we will join hands with this woman as she demand answers as she demand justice for her husband not even information the poor woman get in update back for her husband, brothers and sisters. Not even update she receive back on this matter. And wherever she is at this time, if she's on social media, I want her to know that we're praying for her. We are praying for her. And let me tell you, brothers and sisters, this is not the normal kind of demand for justice for Miss Yap. This is not the kind of demand for justice for Miss Yap. Let me confirm because I'm, I'm, I'm calling on her today. I'm calling on her. We're inviting her in. Marcia Yap. Miss Marcia Yap. If you're on Facebook, wherever you are, my sister, I want you to know that we are here with you and for you. Miss Marcia Yap, we are here with you and for you. We are standing with you. We are standing beside of you. And we want you to know that you are not alone in this matter right now. While you may be weeping, while you may be mourning the loss of your husband for 15 years, while you may have been treated unjustly by the Canadian government, by the, the, the whatever authority that has been in place to deal with the autopsy of your husband, they may have failed you, but we're calling on them right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that this message will reach across where they are and that it will awaken them and that it will let them receive the indication that they are people of God who are standing up demanding with you justice demanding with you that you receive the body of your husband it can't be business as usual, brothers and sisters. We have to stand with our brothers and sisters when we are affected, my friends. We have to stand. And you see, friends, the difference with this kind of stance, you know, is because we are doing it with God. And anything, any case that Father God is upon, any case that God is, dep God is on, friends, let me tell you man let me tell you it must get what it's due it must get what it's due it must get what it's due any key the father god is on it must get what it's due i see my sister said uh, sister Anne marie said miss yap call andre stephen shaw and we don't have no problem because we need every voice. We need everybody to come on board to help Miss Yap. And my sister, this is not even about calling Andre Stephen Show. 
This is about calling on the name of Jesus. Because we know when we call, listen, man can do so much and no more. But we know when we call on the show of Jesus, that when we call on the name of Jesus, then every strong man must come down. This is not putting your trust in a man. This is not calling a single man show. Because what single man can't do, God can do. This is not about a single man. This is not about me. This is not about calling somebody show. This is about as people of God, we get up to understand that this is not about a man. This is not a man doing it. Because too often, too often we believe that a man can do this. Man can't do this. Unless God said, I saw it for God. It can't go no other way. Man don't have the power to do this. And sometimes we believe that a one man alone can do this. A one man can't do it unless God give him the ability to do it. And it will not bring out the kind of solution that we needed to have. So, my friends, this is not about calling an Andre Stevens show. This is not about calling an Auntie Dana show. This is not about calling a Mr. Ansom show. This is about understanding that if all of us can come together, that's the only way we can be able to achieve what we desire to achieve. Not about calling nobody show. This is not about no Andre Stevens. This is not about no Auntie Dana. This is not about no Mr. Ansom. Sometimes we get into a place, brothers and sisters, where we put too much power into a one man to achieve what we need to achieve. And when you check it, the one man, them still not getting the kind of result that we need to get because we're still not doing it the right way as a people. Because sometimes we believe, say, is my voice doing it. Sometimes we believe that it is my muscle doing it. Sometimes we believe that it is my feet and my prowess and my strength. It's not about that. And God sometimes have to take a one man that uno keep putting on a trust in and to show and say, no matter what, it not going to bring out the result that it needs to carry out because this is not about a one man doing it. And sometimes we need to take people out of the way and put God in the position that God needs to be in and let God work how God needs to work. Let God work how God needs to work. And this is why sometimes when issues are in the air, because we commend anybody who, who want to help and people who have been doing good work for the people. Right? But at the same time, we must understand, brothers and sisters, that this is not about Jazeel ministry. This is not about Andre Stevens ministry or whatever Andre Stevens does. I see Andre Stevens doing work. Very good. I see Mr. Ansom doing work. Very good. I see Antadana doing work. Very good. But I tell you, friends, there's nothing that they can do unless God give them the ability to do it. This is not about them. This is not about, I see some other guys where people tag me in and I see some of them on social media. This is not about them. And that's why sometimes we have so much friction, so much fight, so much infight about things that are not supposed to be taken personal. That's why sometimes we have so much people out there and everybody are crying for fame. Everybody wants to say, I them start this. Everybody wants to say it started with them from who it never started with. Hello. Come on, brothers and sisters. And the, the spirit of fear just have everybody divided. Because a man feel like, say, I him did start this. And because I him started, him want the kind of credit we need to get. Listen, that is not God's business. God don't operate like that. And I need to bring us as a people into common sense. To understand the difference when a man at work and when God is working. When God is working, God is in control. When God is working, God is lifted up. When God is doing it, listen people. This is not about man. There's nothing man can do unless God gives the ability to do it. It's time now you stop putting God in man. No fun to get up and, and, and that's why, that's why sometimes the world and the society is the way how it is. Because sometimes we get to a place where we, we, we see God in, in, in man's ability. And so we, 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 we deal with, 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 with man or we fear deal with God. We spend more time and watch man more than how we spend or, or more than how we're supposed to be spending time I watch God. And that is a problem. That's why sometimes God has got to take up in our mountain and drop with both. Because we're not getting it. The Bible says, I have no other God before me. And sometimes we, 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 we deal with man better than how we deal with God. 
And that's why we now see the kind of result that we need to see on certain things, you know. No matter how much we protest, we will not get the kind of result that we need to get unless we do it the right way. No matter how much we take a stance, we will not get the kind of result unless we do it the right way with God, under God. This is not about me. This is not about you. And God wants His people to come together. I have observed a lot of infights and dividing and some issues that it only need and require a unified voice and a unified approach. Let the man of God teach you know. That's all it need. That's all it need. And sometimes, sometimes, the kind of motive that a man have on a matter, eventually it come out, you know. Not a man said this is not about them. Eventually, you see whether it's about a man or it's about God. Because if God is not being mentioned the way how God ought to be mentioned, and we want to be careful, some people want to exploit the name of God, you know. Because God will not be exploited. And, I, 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 and as a man of God, I will not sit back and let people feel like it is okay to exploit God for their own personal gain and for their own personal motive. The Lord God Almighty will not be exploited. You will not exploit God. Because they that worship Him, worship Him in spirit and in truth. None of us is perfect. But we must come to a place, my friends, where we understand that this is not about us. This is not about man of God here. This is not about no other body we want to say is somebody. Because they are nobody unless God is within them. None of us are nobody unless God is within us. Are you following me, brothers and sisters? Sometimes we need to take the focus off of one man. And understand because I remember when I was out there, and we're still talking about Miss Master, yeah. But I'm saying, brothers and sisters, there are some things that we have to make clear because if these things are not spoken about, then we're going to do the same thing over and over and get no different result. And when I was back helping and thing, you know, sometimes a lot of people would be like, um, they would be like, because there was a time I am doing um, charity work in my ministry. Auntie Dana is doing charity work through her program. And sometimes some cases will come and persons would be like, well, um, go tell it to um, Jazeel ministry or go tell it to Auntie Dana. Little, and not just one man do the work of God. And not just one people do the work of God. And then again, whoever God may permit to be in a one place, eh? it's not about them. And I want to make this clear, brothers and sisters, this is not about me. And what I, what I do as a ministry is different. Because God brought me to do something totally different. I come to help people from their state. I come to save souls with the help of God. I come for but the Spirit of God to come get souls. Me not come for just give people physical help. Because me know that after this physical help, eh, there is something greater that we have to face. And so I come to, 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 to get souls. The Bible says, the greatest, the greatest is to win souls. The greatest is to win souls. When you can go after souls, that is the greatest ever. So I come to win souls. I come to tell people about the good news of Jesus Christ. That is what this man of God do. That is what this ministry do. I see people with a lot of ministry. But if your ministry now deal with winning souls and, 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 and reaching the lost and the broken and the downtrodden and, 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 and the poor and lifting them up from the dungeons and from the pits and from the... Then we're not doing nothing, brothers and sisters. You know, the nothing... If God is not at the center of what you do, some of you may be offended by what I'm saying, yeah? But if you have a program, if you have a ministry, if you have something, whatever you may have, if God not at the center of it, you're doing nothing. 
you doing nothing and I'm not gonna fancy up I'm not gonna sugarcoat I'm telling you raw clear what it is thus say the Lord your work is nothing unless God is in the midst of it nothing nothing and if you ever go on a live and say I oh, try to help people and God not they are the same tight it is nothing nothing you do a live and you talk about helping people and you know hear one prayer you know say God take the lead what kind of what kind of movement we can do if God is not the one leading it and heading it brothers and sisters what what in the world can we achieve if God is not leading it and and that's why as God's children we are called to take a stand to let the world let, let some people see how things are to be done we have to make the world see how it needs to be done because some of them don't know how it needs to be done. Some people don't know. Some of them doing it and don't know what they're doing. And that's why sometimes we have the kind of confusion we have out there. A man has fight for fame or a fight for credit from this. Too much of it. There is no confusion where God is. God is not a God of confusion, my friends. He's a God of confirmation. And that's why this man of God... I'm not, I'm not quick and excited to just do any and anything with people. I do things with God. And God, I feel a lead and I show me how to do. Even sometimes the people them that me get up and help through the Spirit of God. I don't, I'm not quick to just jump and take on any cases. Because some people only come to create problems. They come with them problems, but they come to create problems. You understand? Some people don't really come to have their problem be solved. They come to create other problems. And so if we're not careful and mindful, then we get tricked by the devil. And so brothers and sisters, I just wanted to make that clear. So I don't want nobody to come from me show, come from this ministry, come from this life. I say, call no Andrea, call no Ansom, call no Auntie Dana. Comment in the box, let's call on the name of Jesus Christ. Don't tell me to call nobody. Don't come on my live to tell me to call nobody. Because anybody who not tell me to call, they can't do nothing to help nobody. Unless God is leading, unless God is in control, there's absolutely nothing they can do. So let me just nail that out there. Stop putting God in a man. And understand that man can't do nothing unless God is the one that is doing it. Don't believe also that a one man can do this. It's not about a one man. It's not about a one man. This is about everybody coming together in one heart. Where we understand that this is not about me, nor is it about you. Because friends, we don't we want to be careful that we don't get caught up in feeling say a man at work when I got at work. And sometimes God is upset by the way how we do things. God upset by how we do things, you know. Because on a keep I, I, I give I give credit. And I give praises to man thinking say man I do things. Man can't do nothing. It is a shame. Oh, I, I, I see I, oh, I see um, persons operate even with the Dana Lee case. I didn't really do much follow up, but I tried to share. I tried to do a few live on it. Because we can't sit down and see our fellow brothers and sisters being treated certain way and just remain silent. We had to pray, we had to, you know, call on the name of Jesus. But at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, it is a shame how even the situation was dealing with as a people because we lack knowledge, we are so arrogant and ignorant as a people. The time that me see some people who say them try to help, a fight against each other, with who start this, from who come next, we would be spending time clinically as see how the devil are try to go around with it. We miss what the devil is doing. Because we are so caught up trying to get credit on our own selves. Thinking that it is we who put ourselves there to be doing anything. 
thinking that it is we who have our own knowledge. It is God that gives you what you can do. And it is high time, brothers and sisters, we come to the understanding. Because some of us, we are dark, we are blind. And many of you, many of you here, many of you. And I don't come to beg no friend. I don't come to, 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 to get followers. I don't come to get no likes. Listen, if all on need to leave, by all means, it doesn't really matter. Because Christ left by himself. And many of we would leave this earth by ourselves. We came by ourselves. Some of we born with twin. But we are going to go down by ourselves. And I'm saying, brothers and sisters, that we must get to a place where we understand that it is not about a man. And that's why it's so much, so much corruption and madness in this world and evil and witchcraft and black magic because we turn man into gods. We put too much trust into man more than we put it into God. So God said, all right then. Look how I go and confuse them and turn them over upon them head top. And this is what the world has come to right now. We're on our head tops walking and moving. Sound crazy, right? That is how we're moving right now. Because we have taken the praise from giving it to God and giving it to man. Eh? And so we, 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 we look foolish doing whatever we're doing today. We look foolish doing whatever we're doing today. Because where if you use the cup for do, eh? you use it for take up dirt. Eh? If you are use it for your drink water, but you are use it and are scrape dirt because you don't understand the meaning and the purpose of the existence of the tool. You don't understand. And with that said, my friends, don't tell this, don't tell, don't ever tell this man of God to call nobody. Yeah? Especially with the view as if say, it is that somebody that have the solution to our problem. Let us understand that this is about calling on the name of Jesus first and foremost. If somebody can join to help, not join to operate like they are the help. Because man is not the help. The Bible said that God is our present help. Hello somebody, in our times of trouble. But somehow we will get it twisted, operating as if say a man of the help. Man is no help. I want you to tell me on this life. Be honest with me. Be very honest with me. Which problem have you ever seen? And believing and thinking a man have the solution. And they have fulfilled the solution to that problem. Tell me. Tell me of one recent situation where there is a problem and man uh, that, 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 that is so crazy to be fixed in, in that way that, that, that really and truly is a miracle that is needed and only God alone and a man get it done. There is never one, never a situation that man has done something that only God alone can do it. None, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. And many of us, brothers and sisters, the part in which we are trying to straight at El, we are walk El Gate, you know. We are walk El Gate because the things that we see people fly for jump on, fly for follow, fly for be pan. It's it's crazy, you know. It's sad, you know. It's sad, you know, brothers and sisters. It's sad the direction we are run. We are run to hell and not even know the hell we are running to. The things that we need to be a part of, we are not being a part of. We are going the contrary. We are going the contrary. Yeah, man. We are going the contrary, brothers and sisters. And so, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are calling on the Lord to take all of this case with Miss Marcia Yap. The woman at least need her body. I'm not sure if Justin Trudeau or Trudeau, whatever his name is, Mr. Prime Minister of Canada, 
we the people, we're calling on you. We're joining with Miss Marcia Yap, the wife, the wife of Mr. Garvin. He died recently on work-related accident matter on a farm work program. And we the people were standing, demanded justice, saying at least, let the woman receive the body of her husband. Let she receive the body of her husband. And I'm encouraging everyone who come across this live to share this video. To share this video. To let the authorities, to let whoever is involved in this situation. Because this video will reach them, you know, eventually. Or it will reach somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. So either way it will reach them and they will receive the message. Somebody tag Canada in this. Whatever them call the, 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 them JCF in Canada, tag them into it. Let them know that there are few people that represent many voices. Siagavinia that is calling on the government of Canada. That is, uh, we're, not, we're, not, we're not even uh, ask the government of Jamaica for no, for no, for no, because they can't help us. They can't do it over the years. We see broken promises. The people need to understand that the, 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 the power and the changes are in their hands. The power, listen, many of the, the, the social hills and the problem that we have on earth. It's in the people's hand, you know. I hear somebody say that the power of the people, right? The power of the people is greater than the people in power. The power of the people is greater than the people in power. So I am saying, my brothers and my sisters, I'm saying, my friends, that let everyone get up and we let's demand. Let's demand. Let's demand. Um, let's demand justice. Let's demand justice for Miss Marcia. Yeah. And we're praying that God will hear this prayer. That God will move and the conscience of those who are involved. It's understand, right, that they reached out to her, they put pressure, they did prodding, right, and she signed the documents that she needed to sign with the expectation that they would have updated her on the autopsy. She's yet to receive an answer on how the autopsy went. Yeah? She's yet to receive. But we are putting this in the hands of God. And as we call on them to do the honorable thing, we are putting God on your case. We are putting God on your case. Now let me tell you, brothers and sisters, sometimes if you see some things in the observer or if you see some things in the paper, you know, hear what go on, you know? You can imagine the poor woman they are all in in St. James and look out and I say, What happened with her poor little husband? She not hear nothing. And if sometimes the paper not share a certain story, if sometimes certain story not come on certain platform, we not hear and know what go on. That's why we commend some of these platforms that are being used for good. But our own problem is this that we need it to use for God. Because you can't have good unless it begins with God. Unless your good is defiled. Unless your good is defiled. So we have to come with God good. So that at the end of the day, God can receive the praise. He can receive all the credits. So that he can give to us what we are truly asking of him. Are you following me, brothers and sisters? And so I'm saying, brothers and sisters, we are calling them. We are, we, are, we are saying, Lord, render justice for the man. Justice for Miss Marcia. Yep. And Miss Marcia, if you're on Facebook, I'm not sure if somebody can find her, let you know 
that the people of God were praying for you, were standing up for you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We call upon your name, mighty God, and we are praying, God, that you will take hold of this case of your daughter, that you will stand in the gap, mighty God, that you will render the enemy powerless in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, Lord God, that you will touch on the government, touch on the state, and let justice prevail in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we pray that you will have your way in this matter. That, that you will you will silence the enemy in every possible way, shape, or form, Lord. Remember your daughter, tears even now, on this Sunday when she's still mourning, Father. Touch her heart at this time. Locate her, Lord God. Comfort her at this time, mighty God. While she bereaved and grieved for her husband, left Jamaica to provide for the family, left Jamaica to go make a way for himself and his family, died on farm work in Canada, died on work-related matter, Father, you know. This situation is not strange to you. You know about it. You know about all those who are involved in it. And so in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God, we call upon you, Lord God, that you will hear our cry. Take hold of this case, for you can do what man can't do. Father, we, we put you in front. In front we put you, Lord God, that you will take hold of this case, your God. You say stand up for the, in, for the, for the oppressed. Stand up for the widows. Stand up for the poor. So that is what we're doing, Father. We are being a voice to the voiceless. And we know, mighty God, that there can be no other voice unless you are in the midst working and standing. Father, you don't need numbers. You don't need a thousand views to win the battle. You just need a few faithful. You just need a few believers. You're a God that don't need plenty to win. You're a God that only need few because little is enough when God is in it. You're not a God that, has, that, that is in the bag of noises in the market. Because that does not represent and reflect any seal. You're a God that believes in progress. You're a God that believes in quality over quantity. You're a God that believes in receiving your glory and your honor. Man don't deserve that. Man doesn't deserve your glory. Man doesn't deserve your honor. Man does not deserve your praise. All credit belongs to you, mighty God. And so we come, mighty God, to correct the wrongs here on social media, to let your people, to let the world see and know how we are to fight. Because clearly we've been doing it the wrong way. And that's why we've been feeling. So Daniel, God, we pray. That you will have mercy upon us, Lord God Almighty. Take hold of these cases. Take hold of the respective cases. Where our people are oppressed by the government. Or oppressed by the system. We pray even for the government of Jamaica. They too are perpetrators. Because many times they know what is happening, Lord God, and they sit by silent. They know that your people are suffering by the hands of slave masters. And they continue to sit silent to do nothing, to say nothing about it. We put them into your hands at this time. We put them into your hands at this time. That Lord God, that you will trouble your conscience, send your fire. From heavenly places. Burn every darkness. Burn every plans of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hear our cry O Lord. Attend unto our needs. 
Once again, Father, remember your daughter as she grieve at this time. You remind us, God, in Matthew 5, 4, that blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. We pray, O oh God, that you will certainly comfort her in this time. I don't know her by person, but I know, God, that you know her by every weaknesses that flow through her vein, through her body, you know. And you never give more than you can bear. And we know, oh God, we look forward one of these days. As John said, he saw a new heaven and a new earth where will there be no more injustices, no more death, no more grieving, no more sorrows, no more pain, no more heartache, no more sickness, no more sin, no more oppression. One of these days will be no more brothers and sisters. So until then, we lay out all these matters, all these cases into your hands, God, that you will stand in the gap for your people once and for all, that you will shake the foundation of this world, of the system, of the enemy. Lord God, arise and let our enemies scatter in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Release angels, release your soldiers, release your warriors to stand in the gap for your people. Take hold of the cases, take hold mighty God, hold the hands of your children, of your sons, of your daughters. Lord God, equip us to slay enemy, to slay giant. Mighty God, restore us alive, breathe afresh upon us. Mighty God, we come to stand, 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 to stand as we demand justice, as we demand liberty, as we demand the peace of God. Rain down on us, God. Rain down, rain down, rain down, rain down, rain down. Down, send down your fire, 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 God, send down your fire, Holy Spirit, send, send down your fire, send down your fire, send down your fire, Lord, burn, burn every plans of the enemy. Torment every tormenting spirit, burn mighty God, every witchcraft, every black magic, every stronghold we uproot now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God, we pray even now that you will uproot every seed, that you will uproot every plant, mighty God, quench every fiery darts in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God, loose every chain, set the captives free, oh God, stand Stand up for the poor, stand up for the poor, stand up for the poor, stand up for the widow, 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 give her justice, mighty God, stand up for the widow, stand up for the widow, stand up for Marcia, yeah, stand up for the widow, we speak to the system, we speak to the authorities stand up for your children god grant us victory deliver your people once again mighty god stand up for the sick stand up for the sick stand up for the sick stand up for the needy god there's mighty things that will happen when your children come to stand to stand and to call on your name mighty god we wage war against the enemy against his plans against his setups against his key in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we call on your name, we cry unto your name, we call unto your name, we cry unto your name, we lift you high, we lift you high, we lift you high, oh God, for you are above, for you are in control, for you are in charge, mighty God, and you rule it, God, you rule it in the universe, you reign forever. You reign forever. There's none that can compare. There's none that can stand. There is none that can stand beside. There is none that can stand behind. You are incomparable. You have tried. You have tested. And you have proven that you are God and God alone. God by your side. God with man and God without man. You rule in the heavens. You rule in the universe. There is nothing too much that you cannot do. There is nothing too impossible that you cannot make 
impossible. You say let there be light. And there was light. That in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was with God. Mighty God for you rule forever. For your power is powerful than any other power. You are stronger than any other strength. Father God we cry unto you Lord God. That you will hear the cry and the plead. Of your children in the name of Jesus Christ we call on your name father we call on your name lead Lord God have your way lead 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 have your way Lord God have your way have your way father have your way and if anybody can can um share this life share this life i want miss marcia yap to reach out a lady a lady provided um a contact to which she can speak to a lawyer free of cost to help her to fight the case so that she can get to some closure. I would love to provide the contact to Miss Marcia Yap. So I want you friends to share this live broadcast. Please. A number wasn't provided through the stars. And if you can, please tag the stars in this on this live. Maybe the stars can try to reach out back to her to let she know that I have received a contact. I have received a contact for someone. I have received a contact for someone for 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 for, for a number in Canada through to one of the uh, lawyer connection that she can speak to to receive some help. Brothers and sisters, if she just sit down in our house at St. James, she now go get no help. So make we try to see how best we can help her. And we are we have started this in prayer. Please, on a share the live, yeah. share this live, share this live, and let us see how best we can pray for her continually. Let us see how best we can provide as much help we can for her. Share this live so that it can reach even other persons to help her. It is because the story has been shared why others begin to jump on board to help her in this kind of way. So share, share this live, brothers and sisters. Share this life, share this life, so that we can reach out to her, to help her, my friends. So that we can reach out to her, to help her. Share the life. Share this life. I'm looking for the number. I think it's on the phone that I'm doing the live right now. But I have a number. I got a number from someone who that gave her connection, that is giving... Uh, Sister Marcia Yap, connection to some lawyer in Canada that can take on the case for her. So make we help her, people. Tag the stars in this. Tag Miss Marcia up. Look for her. Let's see if she's on Facebook. She perhaps have a social media page. You know? So make we tag her, make we help her, and let her know that there's a number that is here to put her onto. A lawyer, free of cost, to help her. She can fight, call and get the other details. But we have received a number for her to help her. We have received a number to help her. We can start right there. The stars share their story, I believe, this morning. Eh? Our husband for 15 years. And a lot of things are going on in Canada. And, and, and we don't hear gunfire about it. But the day I say it, you know, that this is the season to expose and to be exposed. That's why I'm there in a repentance, you know. And that's why I pray to my Father God every single day, you know, because this is the season to be right, to make it right. Because every single thing God I go expose, I'm going to expose all of them. I'm going to expose them wickedness. I'm going to expose all of them evil deeds. I'm going to expose everything what they have been keeping down for years. This is the season to expose and to be exposed. 
this is the season when a lot of things you're going to see coming at the forefront brothers and sisters a lot of things will be coming out in this season i tell you brace yourself brace yourself what you think will not come out is coming out who you think will not come out is coming out this is the season for some people have been getting away with murder for some time this is the season god will going to will be exposing you we all will be exposed exposing time hear me this is the exposing time brothers and sisters you better get right with god come and do it now and that the blood of jesus i lay my burdens down you better get right with god come and do it now under the blood of jesus i lay my burdens down you better get right with god come and do it now under the blood of jesus i lay my burdens down you better get right with God. Come on, do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. Uh, 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 uh. Better get right with God. Come on, do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. You better get right with God. Yes, yes. Come and do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. Mm -mm. You better get right with God. Come and do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. Nah, 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 nah. Better get right with God. Who is for? Come and do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. Nah, 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 nah. Better get right with God. Come on, do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. You better get right with God. Come on, do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. You better get right with God. Come on, do it now. Under the blood of Jesus, I lay my burdens down. Friends, at the time to get it right. At the time to get it right. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about God. Honor belongs to him. Praises belongs to him. It all belongs to him. You know, it, 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 it moves something in me when man get up and, and, and take praises for themselves and operate like a them. The show is about them. The game is about them. The book is about them. The journey is about them. The fight is about them. That's why God have a, have a, have a, that's why God have a time when he's ready for shame enough away and for expose enough away and for tear we down so that we may understand that we are dust and he is Yeah man Is that